the RPMS for teacher 1 to 3. Observer, yung pangalan po yung nag-observe. Teacher observed. Subject and grade level taught. Date, quarter. So we have here observation 1, 2, 3, and 4. Directions for the observers. Rate each item on the checklist according to how well the teacher performed during the classroom observation. Mark appropriate column with check symbol. Each indicator is assessed on individual basis. Each indicator is assessed on an individual basis regardless of its relationship to other indicators. For schools with only one observer, this form will serve as the final rating sheet. We have nine indicators. Indicator 1, Applied Knowledge of Content within the Across Curriculum Teaching Areas. So, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, the highest is 7. No, if it's not observed. Number 2, Use a range of teaching strategies that enhance learner achievement in literacy and numeracy skills. 3. Apply the range of teaching strategies to develop critical and creative thinking as well as other higher order thinking skills. O ito na tawag nating HATS. 4. Manage classroom structure to engage learners individually or in groups. In meaningful exploration, discovery, and hands-on activities within a range of physical learning environments. 5. Manage learner behavior constructively by applying positive and non-violent discipline to ensure learning focus environment. 6. Use differentiated developmentally appropriate learning experiences to address learners' gender, needs, strengths, interests, and experiences. 7. Manage and implement a developmentally sequenced teaching and learning process to meet curriculum requirements and varied teaching contexts. 8. Selected, develop, organize, and use appropriate teaching and learning resources, including ICT, to address learning goals. And 9. Designed, selected, organized, and use diagnostic, formative, and summative assessment strategies consistent with curriculum requirements. Signature over the printed name of the observer and signature over printed name of the teacher.